Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to be going over if GPU mining is profitable in 2022. Let's get started. As you guys might have noticed, cryptocurrency has fallen from its all-time high. There seems to be a looming sense of uncertainty when it comes to the global market right now. As an investor in the crypto mining and cryptocurrency space, I'm often asked the question, is GPU mining still worth it in 2022? For those of you who want a quick and dirty, yes it is, profitable right now. But ultimately, this depends on key variables. Here's why it's profitable for me, but it may not be for you. Profits equal to income minus expenses. Your income is primarily dictated by your hash rate from your GPU. More hashing power, the more you contribute to the network. This determines your rewards. So rewards are dictated by two things. The size of the block reward and the amount of miners on the network. So if we have a lot of miners and a smaller block reward, this results in a lower payout or lower reward. But if these two factors can stabilize, your rewards stabilize. It will stay relatively the same. Typically, I use what's to mine or miner stat in order to gain insight on what I expect to receive in terms of income and profitability for a GPU that I'm considering. Link is in the description below. So from here on out, I'll be talking mostly about Ethereum mining. It's gonna get a little mathy. This is Minerstat, and here's the list of best GPUs by profitability and hash rate. There's a comprehensive list of GPUs here, and typically they tell you the hash rate, the power, the estimate, daily profit. Um, today I will be looking to NVIDIA RTX 3080, a non-light hash rate. What a light hash rate means is it's a nerf version of a graphics card to deter miners from mining. I typically steer away from those, depending on the pricing, of course. So let's look at the 3080. So as you can see, it provides you the name, algorithm, estimated daily income, costs, and estimated daily profit. So for me, my residential lecture rates are 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So I would put 11 cents here, calculate. So typically hash rate and power consumption, it's custom filled. So I would, just for an overview of glance, I would leave that alone. So these are the most profitable, right? So currently on Ethereum network, you can mine up to $3 per day. So typically I always use Ethereum in general. I don't use these other pools. I use based off of Ethereum. You can expect to see a 97.88 mega, mega hash rate with 224 watts. So our estimated daily profit is $3.59 and with an electric cost of $0.59 cents, we're getting $2.99 per day for this graphic card, right? So typically the power, power level fluctuates depending on card and some cards have different hash rates. Um, it really depends on the quality of the card you get and sometimes you have to swap out the thermal pace, things like that. So I'm going to show you how, how easy it is to calculate your, your profit and how electricity costs are determined. So as you can see here, my residential electricity, it's 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So the graphic card uses approximately 224 watts, 224 watts, right? How many hours are in a day? There's 24 hours in a day, all right? So divide by a thousand because we want kilowatts. We have 5.376 kilowatt hours, right? And you have 11 cents per day. So 59 cents. So that's how you calculate it, right? It's not that hard. So you're able to calculate your residential electric rate and how much your profitability. So you have a rough idea. So further looking into it, let's say that's $2.99 for a 3080 per day. So you're looking at, for 30 days, roughly $89.70 per month, per month.
per card in terms of profit, right? We took out the costs and estimated daily income. That's your, your profit. It might not seem like a lot, but if you have one rig with 638 80s, you can see it exponentially grow. This this results in $538.20 per month in passive income, which is equivalent to $6,458. All of this sounds great. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but it's more like stressy to pressy, lemon zesty. Let me explain why. Now let's consider if your electrical costs are not 11 cents per kilowatt hour. Let's, let's use the extreme case, which if you're based in Hawaii, the residential electric rate is around 35 cents per kilowatt hour. So if we go back here and plug in 35 cents per kilowatt hour, you can see that your current profitability, estimated profitability is $1.76. You roughly lost half, half of your profitability due to increased electrical costs, right? So you can see why like your profitability really depends on these key factors, right? Depends on your equipment and it depends where you're located. Another thing to take note is that Ethereum is the most profitable coin right now, but it's not the only profitable coin. There's other profitable coins such as Ciro, Conflux, Cortex, Ravencoin, and even Ethereum Classic. I'll discuss a little bit further about these other coins and how they come into play later. But another thing that's just as important is your ROI, which is your return on investment. So I have a list here of what you typically need to assemble a typical mining rig. It's gonna cost you about 1100 in parts. And for the graphic cards, a typical 3080 right now on StockX, which is a little inflated, is around $1,300. So if we have $1,300 and we add $1,300 for each graphic card and we have six of them and we add the initial the parts cost the parts we have a cost of $8,900 and from our past calculations we saw that we roughly get for a six card mining rig $18 a day currently current prices so $18 a day so it's gonna take you 495 days roughly to break even or ROI so divide by 356 you're looking at 1.38 years in order to break even this may seem like a long time there's so many potential risks that can happen within a year and a half or so i'm going to explain one of them something else you should consider when getting into gpu mining is the gpu mining doomsday event which is called the merge this is when Ethereum moves from proof of work to proof of stake, which is happening later this year. Essentially, when it moves from proof of work to proof of stake, GPU mining will cease to exist for Ethereum. So all, all mining profitability for Ethereum will become zero. And don't ask me when this will happen. The only person that knows is the Ethereum gods. Don't get me wrong, but GPU mining is not a get-rich-quick scheme. What I'd like to consider it, it's a high-risk, high-reward investment. Like, high-risk as in volatility, right? Have you seen the crypto market? I mean, it's crazy. We hit all-time highs last year, but now we're having a pullback, and the prices of cryptocurrency fluctuates. And another thing that makes it a high-risk investment is majority of the mining is due to GPU mining for Ethereum. And Ethereum network is gonna move from proof of work to proof of stake later this year. So that, that's a lot of uncertainty. So it makes it even a higher risk. But for me, I was lucky enough to start back in 2019 with 15,000. I went all in and was able to ROI and actually expand my rig. And I've spent over 50,000 setting up my GPUs and I've ROI and with GPU mining I've been lucky enough 
to be able to recoup the money and also invest the money. So currently with all my mining proceeds, I've been able to put a down payment for a house, which I'm truly blessed for. So you kind of get at the idea that net profitability really depends on these key factors. Another thing to t consider is the fluctuation in price. So when you're when you're thinking that you're going to earn this amount of dollars per day, it really fluctuates depending on the pricing of Ethereum, right? You're mining a relatively consistent amount of Ethereum, but if the if Ethereum drops half, 50% tomorrow, your mining profitability tanks essentially. So I'm no GPU mining guru. I don't claim to be. There's so many resources out there to help get you started. I just want to let you know that if I can get started and read the rewards, so can you. If you like what I had to say, please like and subscribe. I'll be releasing a future video on how to set up your own mining rig. But for now, peace.